Welcome to the Ultimate Arms Challenge for Strength Inversions Determination and Flexibility. This is a routine I personally use myself to go from basically zero to a comfortable place of confidence and strength. The key to this sequence is to have fun, both having fun with your body and what it can do, but also in what it fails to do. And what I mean by that is that with every exercise that you have to stop, the key to this challenge is to take note of exactly how many or how far you got. And then, when you come back to this routine again, see if you can go even just a little bit further. I recommend this challenge is done as many times per week as your body will allow with lots of water and to never forget to work hard and have fun. All right, it's time to play. Welcome friends. Starting seated at the back of your mat, let's set the intention right now for the next 20 minutes to have fun. On your next inhale, raise your hands, engaging those fingers up above your head and as you exhale, fall forward, palms down to the mat, into child's pose, and begin to rock your shoulders gently back and forth, waking them up, preparing them for what's going to be a very engaging class. Stay conscious with each breath as you breathe in and out, and slowly bring your hands back behind you, clasp your fingers, and slowly pull them towards the front of your mat opening up your shoulders rocking side to side if that feels good first to the right pulling at that left shoulder to open up and then on your next exhale dropping your left shoulder down towards the mat gently opening up your shoulder and stimulating that upper body come back to center slowly drop your hands to your side and bring the palms of your hands to the front of your mat again into child's pose for one or two more conscious breaths before we begin. On your next exhale, slowly bring yourself forward into upward dog. Breathe in and deepen the stretch and tuck your toes at the back of your mat to lift your legs up about two inches off the mat so that you can then gently rock back and forth, holding your entire body weight on your toes and on your hands. Four points of contact breathing gently and holding with the locked arms. Exhale and come back down into downward dog. If you'd like to add a little motion here, you can walk your dog or add a couple little pulses pushing your chest towards the mat. Or you can just sit in stillness for a moment, feeling the stretch deepen with each breath. And for our first exercise today, on your next inhale, raise yourself onto the very tips of your toes and prepare to drop your head down towards the mat and lift back up. Inhale down, exhale up. Down and up, that's two. Down and up, that's three. And four. Down, inhale, up, exhale. And that's five. There we go. Remember, if you have to stop, take a break until the next exercise, no problem. Just take note where you stopped. Down, inhale, up, exhale. One more. Down and up. Great job. Slowly come back down to the balls of your feet and shift your weight forward, bending at the knees, but do not let the knees touch. We're going to do a lifted crawl position, hovering. Points of contact again are our two hands and our toes. Engaging the core, engaging the shoulders and the triceps. Just breathe into this. We're gonna add some star jumps to this hold. On your next exhale, go out and then in. Back to position one, out and then in. Exhale, jump, inhale, four, that's three. And four, that's four. Great job. Five, few more. Remember, focus here. 
and try to be as light on your toes as possible. The lighter the jump, the more effective the exercise. Be like water, my friend. And two more out and in and last one out and in. Great job. Stepping back, we're going to hold plank for a second as part of our next exercise, dropping down to our forearms. We're going to start left, then right. All right, left down, right, and up. Now right down, right down, then left, then up. Excellent. Breathing out as you drop, breathing in as you lift. We got seven more to go. Remember, it's okay to stop at any time. Breathe into it, listen to your body, and have fun as you see how far can you push. All right, and right, left, right, up. Left, right, left, up. Great job, only a couple more left. Here we go. And down, and the last lift up, left, then right, Excellent job. Come on back down to your forearms. You can drop your knees and let's come back to counter and child's pose for a quick breath before sitting back up, reaching behind our backs, clasping our fingers and opening up those shoulders with a couple of rolls backwards and then a couple of rolls forwards. Give them some thanks and some love. We're only getting started, but they've done so much already. So whatever they're asking for right now, give it to them because they deserve it. All right, on your next exhale, crawl forward on your mat, onto your arms, and lift yourself into downward facing dog for this next exercise. We're gonna hop or jump to the front of the mat, lift our arms forward, pointing out, and then hop back into plank, finishing in downward facing dog. That's one, and jump or hop, Lift the arms, back down, jump back into plank, and that's two. Back to downward dog, and jump, lift the arms, hands planted, jump back into plank, and up to downward facing dog. We're going to just do two more. Remember, lightly landing, holding as much of your weight in your arms as you can, landing lightly on your toes. Downward dog, and jumping up, last one arms forward planting the hands and jump back to plank finishing in downward facing dog great job take a breath before we move on to our next exercise you can walk your dog out here adding a little bit of motion your body deserves it you deserve it these little micro breaks they're perfect to just recenter ourselves reconnect to our breath before we dive right back in the next exercise has a lot of different names, but I hear it most popularly called the impossible push-up. To do it effectively, you're gonna start in downward facing dog, slowly bringing your weight forward and dropping your forearms to the mat, while then lifting back to your palms and coming up to upward facing dog. Then pushing back to downward and doing it over. That's one. Forearms drop, here we go, up, Upward facing dog and back. That's two. Drop to forearms. Bring that body weight a little bit faster as we go. That's three. Dropping the forearms, sweeping the body, not touching the chest. Just like so many exercises, only four points of contact on the mat. And sweeping upward dog, back into downward dog. Drop the forearms, body weight forward, stretching up and falling back. Only a couple more left, here we go. Upward facing dog. Remember, it's okay to stop and just take a note at how far you got this time so when you come back, you can beat it. And back into downward facing dog. Listening to our bodies, connecting with our breath. Upward facing dog, breathing out. Inhale, back into downward facing dog. Forearms down, pushing up, two more to go. Downward facing dog, dropping the forearms, sweeping the body. Excellent job. And last one. Here it is. Forearms down. Nice and slow. Watching your form. And downward facing dog. Let's come down to our knees. Fold the feet. And take a micro beat here in child's pose. Wrapping your fingers once again behind your back. And rocking those shoulders. Each time you come to a stretch like this, see if you can consciously breathe a little bit deeper and a little bit more motion into it. On your next exhale, rising into seated and letting go of your fingers and the clasp, 
to bring your hands forward. Shake it out just a touch and come forward onto your mat. On all fours, tuck your toes back into downward facing dog. This next exercise, we're gonna jump to the front of the mat, keeping our weight on our arms. Landing on our toes, we're gonna fall back into roll and come forward trying to stand up as we go. There we go, hands back down, jump out into plank and downward facing dog, that's one. Here we go, two, jumping up, rolling back, coming forward to stand, hands planted into plank. That's two, great job, jumping up onto your toes, falling back into roll and coming up. It's okay to use your hands on the mat to get up if you need to, and jumping back into plank, and downward dog, here we go. Four onto the toes, rolling back, coming forward and standing. Oh, there we go. And jumping back again into downward dog. Last one, here we go. Jump, roll back, and come on forward and up to go back into plank and downward facing dog. Great job. Take a quick breath here in downward facing dog as you walk your hands back forward and come into a toe stretch, which is a lifted hero pose. You can bring your hands to the heart, balancing on your toes, stretching them out, engaging the core, extend your arms forward, consciously breathing, feeling the air, fill your lungs with each breath in and each breath out. This next exercise is one of my favorites because the first time when I did it, I realized I hadn't done anything like this since I was a kid. All right, bringing your hands down flat on the mat, we're gonna just jump and hold our weight on our arms and come down, landing lightly on the toes. There you go. The idea here is to hold as long as you can, to get as high as you can without flipping over and to land as lightly as possible. And that's four, excellent. And five, when you land, it's okay. Give it a little bounce, breathing, jumping up and down. There you go. And up and down. Finding a rhythm with your breath and body and smiling if your body wants you to. It is fun to experiment and see what you're capable of. All right, we got two more left. Up and down, one more. Plant those hands, breathe into it, make it count and down. Great job coming down to your knees you can let your feet go flat on the mat and let's try an arm bind here to stretch it out reaching your left hand behind and up your back then lift your right hand above your head and reach down towards your fingers you can use a belt or a rope in both hands to get used to this you can grab your clothes or if you can reach your fingers hold towards each other stretching that left shoulder open and that right bicep will feel so good. This is one of my favorite stretches for the upper body. When you're done on one side, let's go move over to the other, bringing your right hand now up the middle of your back and lifting that left hand up and over. See how close you can get. It's okay if you don't make it, I started with a belt myself and it took me months on my right side over for some reason to catch up to my left side I had a complete flexibility imbalance but at this point they're pretty close but it's been a journey and that's the beauty of it it's always a beautiful journey breathing into the stretch pulling gently listening to your body if it hurts let go Shake those shoulders out a little bit. Let's fold the arms over, catching a tricep stretch, rocking into it just a little bit. Swinging the arms gently, let's try the other side. Breathing into it, finding a rhythm with your motion. Perfect little micro break that you deserve. All right, let's come back into plank, up on the very tips of our toes, and lean forward. Now, if your wrists hurt, you can hold this in just straight plank. But if your wrists are capable, I highly encourage to bring as much weight as you can forward into your shoulders, engaging in the core, and try engaging your glutes and your hamstrings as tightly as you can too, to get a deeper, more effective stretch and workout. Breathing. 
There you go. Excellent. Coming back into downward facing dog, we're gonna come down onto our forearms and do 10 dolphins. So take a deep breath in here and bring all your weight forward as you exhale onto your forearms into plank and inhale back. That's one, exhale forward, inhale back. That's two, exhale forward, inhale back. Push the air out of the lungs, hover the body, engage as many of the muscles necessary as possible, and breathe consciously into this exercise. We're really working our shoulders, our triceps, our lats, our whole upper body. Two more forward, inhale back. Last one, coming down, we're gonna hold and just hover right here, breathing into it, letting go if we have to, but holding on if we can breathing, engaging all your strength, digging deep, holding a little longer, and dropping down to the mat, planting your hands next to your body. We're going to tuck our toes and immediately lift into upward facing dog for a deep stretch, but not a rest, because we're going to exhale and drop flat into plank, inhale back up. That's one. Superman planks and two. Dropping down and up. There we go, connecting to that breath, engaging those triceps and breathing into each one with a deep stretch and upward facing dog. There we go, breathing down and up. Couple more left, down and up. Great job, down and up. Last one, down and up. Great job, letting go and slowly dropping back into child's pose for a well-deserved counter stretch. If you'd like to reach your arms back and clasp your fingers once again, this is a great time to engage those shoulders, grabbing each wrist and pulling on the right hand and then pulling with the other hand on the left. Just a little bit of a variation or a variable stretch. Coming back up, plant your hands at the front and hopper step your feet to meet them there and then roll back keeping your feet planted lifting your butt from the mat keeping your arms flat let's just hold a bridge here engaging those glutes engaging those hamstrings stretching out that back breathe into this engaging those muscles as much as you can and just hold it's a beautiful stretch as we come to the end of a beautiful workout we're going to do one last exercise here which is the full wheel so if you'd like, you can plant your hands behind your head and lift the entire weight of your body up into the air and just breathe. That's the wheel. It's a lot of fun. It's a great workout and an incredible stretch. All you have to do is just hold. We're going to hold for a few more seconds here. You can drop at any point you like. And if you weren't able to attempt at this time, that's perfectly okay. You can catch up with me in a couple of seconds when I release. And breathing in and slowly exhaling, coming back down onto your mat. Give yourself a little hug as you come into ball here, squeezing as a counter stretch to that beautiful wheel, tucking yourself in. You can slowly drop your head back down to the mat and reconnect to your breath. Whatever your body's asking for in this position, provide it. Give it a little bit of motion, a rock, squeeze a little harder, whatever it's asking for, provide. Now we're gonna end this session with one last stretch. On your next exhale, bring the base of your feet together into diamond, take your hands and tuck them right where your hips meet your legs. Lying back onto your mat, we're going to push with our arms at our hips, adding a little bit of depressurization to the base of our spine. Pushing gently with each breath, visualize the vertebrae slowly separating as you open them up with each exhale. Experiment with different points of pressure on the mat and on your hips and find exactly what feels most effective for you. On your next exhale, you can release, dropping your body flat back onto the mat and take a deep breath in exhaling to rise and come meet me back at the center of the mat to close off this incredible arms challenge now to close off just give your body whatever it needs reconnecting 
a little bit of a stretch, maybe some motion, whatever your body's asking for. Just take a minute to reflect on how you felt at the beginning of this class to how you feel right now. And taking a deep breath in, let's close off with a big stretch up above our head. Exhale, bring your hands down to your heart and take a moment to thank yourself for investing the last 20 minutes in your health, your mind-body connection, your well-being, and having a little bit of fun for a change. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me here today for this beautiful class here at Rio Perdido in Costa Rica. If there's one thing that we could ask, if you've ever taken anything of value from Boho Beautiful at all in any of our videos, it's simple and it's easy. If we could just be so grateful and ask you to go down below and subscribe to our channel. It will help us continue our mission to bring free videos to anyone who's looking for it or in need here on YouTube. Other than that, if you'd like to take your practice a little bit deeper with us at Boho Beautiful, you can go up there and click Boho Beautiful Official. That's our custom iOS and Android app and streaming platform, and there you'll find basically almost everything we've ever done, including extended content, full-length content, exclusive content, calendar series, challenges, all kinds of stuff. And with that, I want to say thank you again for being here with us on our journey. It means the world to both of us. Namaste.